Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Crab. Welcome to my yarn advent opening. Spoiler alert, this is the My Yarny Corner Advent Calendar and I am going to be opening four days. Yes, four days. It is late on the 7th with thing out of action. I am just have no time. I'm supposed to be putting Christmas decorations up tonight, but I don't know if I have the energy. I have had a lovely day at work. My, to, a couple of my bosses who were available took me out for my Christmas lunch to a very upmarket Italian restaurant and it was lovely. They're such good company. They're really nice people. And I was given a present to put under my Christmas tree, which isn't up yet, but I'm not allowed to open it till Christmas Day. And it's usually something very nice. Anyway, my Yanni Kama Advent. Some of you said you'd like to see my progress. Well, I've done it again. I haven't paid attention to detail. I have one other project on the go. It's so close to being finished that I did this year that is my biggest fail for 2022 because I didn't pay attention and read the fine print. So with my pattern that I chose, the Winter Dawn Shawl, I read it as 25 gram skeins. It wasn't, it's 25 yards, which is about a 10 gram skein. So for those of you who are interested, this is my progress so far. Now it is not all yellow. It was yellow and green and into green and day, that is only day number five, the blue. Now if I'm to change yarn where she said, which I wasn't doing, that'll be it for the blue. I used the whole skein for the yellow first one, thinking I had to, even though the pattern said change yarns and I didn't. So now I don't know if I continue on with doing two sections like I have been with the one colour or whether to start changing yarns and save 10 grams of each of the advent for another project which is what I am leaning to. Look I love the pattern it's my fault. That's me not paying attention to detail. It's bitten me twice this year but it is a lovely pattern. It is difficult for me to knit because it is such fine yarn but I am getting used to it and I want to learn to use finer yarn. I'm knitting it on my Knit Pro needles. Um, the Shy Goose tend to be really slippery for um, the finer yarn. I can't say the Knit Pro are much better, but they're slightly better. That's my project. That's how much would be left if I changed yarn every time she told me to with each skein. And I would have... If I do the full ball, the full 20 gram ball, the, sh the, the shawl cowl or the shawlette thing is going to be too big. What do you think? Should I keep doing each ball to the end or should I just stop and change every 10 grams? Let me know in the comments below, but that will teach me to read a pattern more carefully. So if you have this advent and you don't want to see the next four days, then please look away, switch off, check out another video coming up, which is my make along for 2023. There'll be a premiere for that and it should be up tomorrow, if not Friday, because today is Wednesday. The reason I'm doing four days this time is because Sunday will be the charity market day and Saturday and Sunday, I'm extremely busy and without things help, it's just horrendous at the moment. I don't have a minute to spare. I'm so tired. That's why I am only up to day one, two, yeah, day four with my yarns. Five and six are still waiting to be knitted. But I love it. I do love the event and I wish I'd picked a different project where I could use all the yarn. But the bonus is I could get two projects out of it. Make a suggestion where I can do a 10 gram advent because I'm going to have some left over. 
So day number seven. Shall we see what it is? Ta da! Little stickers. I like these bags. I don't know where they got them from. Crunchy bite. Oh, I love crunchies. Oh. I want to see the yarn. It is awesome. Look at that. It's oranges and creams and blues and whites. I'm starting to think that the very Yorkshire Advent inspiration came from a Yorkshire spring day. You've got daffodil yellow and greens and they blue of the sky and there's pink and orange so i think that's like a sunset and this may be sunrise who knows this is my theory anyway that's day seven day eight the beauty is with thing hurting his back he gets to wind these into little balls for me because he is my ball winder Day eight. Oh, this is going to be handy. She must have known I'd mess up because now I have two little badges handmade. So I'm going to have two projects, one for each project. Ta -da! This is a variegated blue, aquary blue. Oh, now I'm confused. Is this the daylight blue sky? Who knows? And then we have day nine. These are wearing so tight. A Snickers. I have to give that to Reeves. I'm not keen on Snickers, but he loves them. So is this the flowers in the spring garden? Blue, yellow, purple, pink. Every colour you could wish for. Day nine. Oh, I've got to keep him in the bag so I remember which comes next. Sorry about all the crinkling. If I don't do that, I'll forget. And day ten. I know four days is a lot to open in one hit, but guys, my schedule since Thing hurt his back is just a nightmare. Blackjacks. I have no idea what a blackjack is, but if that's licorice, that's mine. Something new to try. And we have purples variegated with some cream. So this is going to be interesting. So we've got, I think my spring day has gone out the window. I don't know. Maybe. I want to know what the theme was to that. Ins I know what the theme is, but what inspired Alex and Danny to dye these colours? Guys, that is my very Yorkshire advent for the next four days. I will find time to knit. I am taking my time. I think with all these beautiful colours, I probably will just do the section and change it when she says. But... I don't know, maybe I could do put the leftover yarns into the anthology throw. I haven't bought that pattern yet, but I do believe it's been sold separately. A blackjack. It's interesting, that might be an after-dinner treat. Let me know what you think about my pattern. Don't comment on my inability to read detail. When you see the big fail of 2022, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's only this morning I realised what I had done wrong and why I had failed. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Me, I'm supposed to be putting up Christmas decorations tonight. I may get some sleep. Who knows? Bye for now.